Welcome to this tutorial on how to create an air trail effect with shader graph. Uh, this is a rather simple shader, but if you are unfamiliar with shader graph, you can see some of the most common use of a few nodes, and it will probably give you some ideas. So let's create this shader, and it's going to be an unlit shader. I'm going to name it to name it R slash tutorial. And let's edit it. Very well. We're going to start with a button on noise, which is a very useful node actually. It's used on a lot of shaders, fire shaders, water shaders, and now air shaders. So density, we're only going to need one. And uh, let's increase a little bit the offset to make it appear more random and we want to we want this to to move so um, we're going to need an offset and tilling mode or tilling an offset node let's link it very well uh, this is going to move with time so let's create a time node And this takes uh, um, vector2 as an input, so vector2, let's link it. And if we link this directly to the other axis, <laughs> we see that moving. But uh, we are going to want to control the speed, so let's add a parameter speed. Set the fold to 5 and uh, make it a slider to be able to control from the specter. And we're going to multiply this times the time. There it goes, and to the x, and here it is running. Uh, we're going to squash this quite a bit with a value of 7, for example, very well. And, uh, well, we already have uh, something running here, but uh, we're going to want to uh, set the um, borders to be transparent. So how do we do that? Uh, we're going to need a UV node. Very well, and uh, we're going to want to split it into vertical and horizontal. If we put this, uh, no, not here, we're going to multiply it. If we multiply this, And to see it gets more transparent the further to the back it goes. But we also want the top and bottom to get transparent, so let's create another mask for this. We're going to multiply their vertical value. with the vertical value 1 minus. To invert it. There it goes, but when uh, in the process of multiplying it, we, go and we made it uh, far more transparent than it should be. So uh, we're going to multiply this again. by 4 at least, because uh, right here the middle, the both the direct value and the 1 minus value is going to be 0.5, so 0.5 times 0.5, that's uh, 0.25, we're going to make it uh, times 4, so it uh, becomes 1 again at the middle. Um, we're going to want the, the front 
to be uh, completely opaque so let's uh, let's add let's uh, create another node add and we're going to add these two together and you're going to see that now it's a uh, very it's a uh, barely seeing the, the parts that are transparent. This is uh, this is too much white. So uh, we're going to create a power node. Power node will keep the edge completely white and uh, make the rest darker. It will make the ramp uh, more stepper, more step. So let's say it on four. So minus five maybe. Here you go, do you see that? Now this is completely white. Well, let's put some order on this. There it goes. And now we're going to multiply this. And we're going to set the alpha. This is set to opaque. We're going to want to make it transparent. Let's see this on a quad. And it looks fairly good. But let's give it a, another touch with a power node to make the, the parts that are not transparent stand out more. Another power node. That's better, I think. Let's save. And let's see this in action. Let's uh, create a... What? Let's create a material. Uh, where are the materials? Material. I slash material. Let's apply the shader to it. And now let's apply this to the quad. Let's put the quad at the center. And if I hit play, it looks quite nice. But uh, it stands out even more if this were a curve. You can do that creating a Geometry in your modeling software choice. Uh, I have done one myself. It's here. There it goes. We can make it a little and. There you have it, you can increase the speed. And that's how you do it. Hope you enjoy that. Goodbye.